you were all fucking right, all right? Everybody was right. How do you feel good? You feel good? I hope you feel good. Pat yourself on the back. All right, you crowned him. You, you, you crowned him two weeks ago, and you were all right. Thanks for believing in me, world. Thanks for hoping for me. You called it just like it went. He beat the shit out of me. What does this look like to you, huh? What does this look like? I'll tell you what it is. He fucking bit me. He fucking beat, bit me and he demoralized me. And he walked in and he took the only thing in the fucking world that means anything to me. Do you understand that? Has anybody ever did that to any of you? Because it just happened to me. And let me tell you. I don't even know the words. It sucks. All right? But you know what? I guess it's all right, because we're all going to go around about 70 to 80 times around the sun, and then we're all going to be fucking dead. So whatever. I did. I tried. All right? I went out there with my heart and my nuts, and I fought my little ass off. All right? I hope nobody's sitting around thinking that Juice Robinson isn't made of the right stuff. Because if you think that, fly to Narita. I'll meet you there, and I will beat the shit out of you. Because that guy is a badass. He's one of the biggest badasses I've ever met in my life. He is different than he was eight years ago. He's better. He took over the world in another company. And he quit because he was pissed off. If you couldn't see the chip on his shoulder, you're blind as a bat. He came here and he made an example out of me. But one thing he did do tonight was he got rid of C.J. Parker. There ain't one ounce of C.J. Parker in this body right here. Not one speck of DNA pumping through these fucking New Japan veins, you understand me? He is dead, and Juice Robinson killed him. I will get back to where I'm supposed to be, and you guys are gonna have a great time watching it. And you're gonna go, oh, just change, just change. Go to hell, all right, go to hell. These Japanese people, they love me and I love them. You get on your keyboards and you can say all you want about me. But I want you to know that all you on your keyboards over across the Pacific Ocean, hanging tight in the good, road, good, good old red, white, and blue. When I have that belt over my shoulder, I don't think America. I don't think USA. The only four letters that I give a hot damn about is IWGP. And I hope you all take that personally. All right? I'm not even gonna get a chance to catch my breath, am I? First and foremost, I wanna say thank you to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come over here. Thank you for uh, welcoming me with open arms, making me feel like part of the family, making me feel like I'm at home. Give me this opportunity to get Juice Robinson tonight. Just come out here. Thank you for giving me my freedom to come out here and apply my trade the way I want to apply it. Come out here, freedom to be able to be out here and do me. So thank you to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Thank you to Juice Robinson for sharing the ring with me tonight. I've known Juice for a long time. I've known him since we were little kids. 20, I mean, you're a kid when you're 20. He left America and they told him, you go be a star. And there's a reason that I've been tormenting you for weeks. There's a reason, there's a reason why I targeted you for this. It's because you are a star, all right? And I know you're gonna come back gunning for this harder than ever, all right? So bring it, motherfucker. I'm gonna be training harder than ever. I'm gonna be ready for you. Everybody in New Japan, everybody all around the world that thinks they want to step into New Japan, I got a message for you, all right? If you're thinking about coming after me and coming after this, you better strike first. You better get me before I get you because I'm on the war path. I'm on the hunt. For anybody who stands in my way, all right? I ain't afraid of no man. You're all gonna find that out. But the biggest message I can deliver, I delivered tonight in the ring. I speak the language of violence. So you go look at Juice Robinson's forehead. You go look at Juice Robinson's nose. You go take a look at Juice Robinson's leg. And you know what my message is.